Welcome guys to Algos Explained, this is David, and we're looking at another first look video. First look is when we're looking at it for the first time and you get to see me struggle, you get to see my thought process, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a level 8 problem uh, noted over here, and eight, I think 8 is the lowest one. Uh, as the numbers go lower, um, the difficulty gets higher. And so let's go ahead and get started with this guy, and we will, uh, yeah, let's just get started with this guy. Invert values. Given a set of numbers, return the additive inverse of each. Each positive becomes negative, and the negatives become positives. Okay, cool. Python, JS, PHP, Java, just of some other languages. Um, I'm not sure what that means there, but looks like we're going to be given an array of numbers and pretty much just flip them. And so 1, 2, 3, these are all positive, and now they're all negatives. This was a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And so negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And so if you're an empty one, then you return an empty one. If it's zero, I was wondering about the zero. If it's zero, you return a zero, not a negative zero. I don't even think there is a such thing as a negative zero. So negative zero. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so we can do that, right? Zero, negative zero. Let's see if that's true. Oh, wow. Okay. My guess is even if we even if we return like a negative zero here, uh, they wouldn't be able to check it because look at this, this check equals true. And so let's go ahead and try it. Um, let's see, array. So we're, we have an array of numbers and if we're trusting that they're all numbers, uh, we could go ahead and get started with this guy. Um, first of all, we're gonna have to flip everything. So we're definitely gonna have to see every single um, every single number, which means the time complexity, uh, if you're thinking about that kind of stuff, is going to be at least O big O of N, which means you're going to have to iterate through at least every single one of the array. And so we could definitely uh, iterate through a for loop. It's less than array dot length parentheses plus. Okay, cool. And so we are going to just array and what we're going to do is we're going to flip it in place and uh, maybe have, I guess, cons constant um, constant space complexity, which means we're not going to be creating more stuff. Um, like, we're not going to be creating a new array to put these uh, flip values inside. We're just going to change this array. And so array of i is now going to be equal to array of i times negative 1. And so, um, yeah, that should solve it. If we have like a negative one times a negative one, that's going to be positive. If we have a positive number times a negative one, that's going to flip it. And if we have a zero times a negative one, it will do that. And let's see if that will work. Yeah, hey, check that out. Um, but because this negative zero equals to zero, I'm assuming that it's not going to catch it, but we should find out. And we're going to return this array because this pretty much this is the magic right here. It just solved everything. Um, we just we're looking at a number array of i, and we're multiplying it by a negative number. So if it was negative, it'll flip it. If it was positive, it'll flip it. And we're reassigning it to that same position in the array, that same bucket. And so that's what it means by doing it in place. Um, we're just flipping it as we're seeing it. And so we are going to return this array and uh, see what happens. Cool, we fail some. Ah, so they do care. Hmm. All right, they do care. Pretty easy. If we see a zero, we could just uh, simply do a quick check for a zero value. Um, and I'm assuming that these are all, they, they all have a zero in it. So maybe that's why it all fails. So um, this test looks pretty uh, unfrightening. These kind of look frightening because they're so huge, but Let's see if the zero thing fixes all our problems because we do know that it is a problem. And so, uh, let's see. Uh, it's a simple if. Um, you could even use a ternary. Continue. Um, no, let's look at If uh, array of i is a zero, then continue. 
of this guy. So we're going to make this pretty. There we go. So pretty much if it's a zero, we're not going to deal with it. We're going to continue, which will just, um, which will pretty much do nothing. We could even leave this empty because as long as it goes in here, it won't go in here. And so, but if it's not a zero, we're, we're going to do the, the flipping thing that we decided was going to solve all our problems. And at the end of it, we're returning array. So let's attempt it this time. And uh, we have an error. Oh, because we are missing, we're missing a closing curly brace from that if. So let's see that one, that one, that one, that one. For loop, returning an array. All right. Cool. We passed four, and we got one. We failed one hundred, and we have an error. Okay. So we passed the basic test. But that's it. And um, I was confident that we would pay it past the the empty array because if it's an empty array, it'll never even go through the for loop and just go ahead and return that array. And so let's figure out what is going on here. Expected all of that, but what did we get? It doesn't show. One error. What's the error? Okay, clicking. I'm clicking on the, clicking on the exclamation point. That does nothing. Zero of one hundred insertions failed. One hundred. Oh, I see. This was all right. So. I didn't realize there were two things. Expected this guy, but got him. Um, well, it looks like they're inverses of each other, so what's the big problem here? Uh, I obviously flipped something, right? Because there's 36, 19, 36, 34. So what do they want from us? What do they want from us? Maybe we did not read this correctly. Um, Give, given a set of numbers, return the additive inverse of each. Each positive becomes negative, and the negative becomes positive. Um, yeah, we're just re inverting it. You can assume that all values are integers. All right, so what is going on here? Um, well, it looks like we, we are flipping something correctly, uh, but I'm not sure which one of these are correct. And so let's go ahead and debug a little bit. We'll, we'll console.log out. So the log the array before before we run this whole thing and um, and we'll we'll log out the the array right before we return it. So we'll have both the original and the flip and see what the heck they're complaining about. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, oh man, this is so ugly. And if you hear rumbling, I'm not sure if the mic picks up all that, but there are a lot of motorcyclists around here who uh, definitely like to be loud. Um, okay, this is kind of hard to tell. So I'm going to go ahead and just denote the before like that. Okay, cool. So before is, oh, it doesn't mess it up. When an array is added to a string, what happens? Okay. Because <laughs> JavaScript does some funky stuff sometimes when you add things to um, each other that are not the same type. So when an array is added with that, it turns into a string, which is why that happened. But anyways, the what we got was that, and we got the exact same thing. No wonder it's broken. They expected the, the inverse, but we didn't give them the inverse for some reason. And I wonder why. Why do we do we not go in here? If array of i is zero, which is not, uh, continue else. We're gonna do that. Now, are we going in here? So console dot log. In here. So we'll see if we're in here or not. Um, oh, definitely we're in there, and I'm just gonna add after here. After. Okay, cool. So before we're in there, and after we're we're returning the same thing. And look, they we we got a thirteen at the beginning. We're giving them a thirteen, but they want a negative thirteen, which makes sense because it before was a thirteen. And uh, I, feel, I feel like I, there's a very simple thing going on here that I just don't know about. Um, 
but let's see they are in here so why is that not flipping but the weird thing is it is flipping for these guys um, that's the that's the big question here it's flipping for those but why is it not flipping for anything else that just, just, just that just doesn't make sense um, it shouldn't be about the length of the array because um, the for loop just takes care of that it just goes through all of them and so check this out we had a before and we had an after and it is simply going in and flipping all of those in our basic test except in our random test for some reason um, it's not working satisfaction Ruby huh. let's see Let's see. This is these are the times when I wish that it was a live session <laughs> because I know that there's someone watching this who has already figured it out and uh, I'm just struggling here. Let's see. So we are definitely in there, but um, we're just simply not returning it. And so how about instead of doing that, we'll create a very temp temporary uh, variable array. Y. and what we'll do is we'll return temp times that let's go ahead and try that nope doesn't help yeah I didn't think that that would help but I don't think this would help either but worth a try maybe I'll figure something out as we constantly try random stuff so let's see. Expected four negative ninety four negative ninety four ninety four forty five. So why is it that? Man, this is so bad. What is going on here? Um. We're going to log out. We're going to log out everything, man. Log out a temp. See what that is. And then we're also going to log out array of i. Might want to label those, but we'll see. So, okay, look. Before was a 4. In here was a 4. Um, in here, so the before... Once you go to the in here, next we're logging out to temp, which is a four. Um, okay, so this before is a negative. I think a space there would probably help. Um, okay. Okay, so before we have a uh, ninety-eight. Once you're in there, once you're in here, on line seven. Um, you're returning a, a 80 negative 89 which is a temp and now you're making the array of i equal to the temp and then but then when we return the array of i it is simply uh, returning the what is it this so why is it doing that why why is it not actually assigning itself to temp um, I don't know. I don't think that it should have any problem doing that. Uh, let's see. Going to I'm going to take this function over to node. I invert one, two, three, four, five. Um, and we got the negative. Yes, of course. We're gonna just throw in a couple of random negatives, and yeah, we got the inverse of that. Um, my question is, why is it not working for some of these guys? Let's see. Let's grab that, and paste it in here, and see if. Uh, let's see. We initial well, we initially threw in a negative one, um, and we got that. So saying that it did flip it, 
it did flip it. So I'm confident that our algorithm works. It's just the fact that for some reason, maybe, maybe this, uh, this system here is not reading it correctly. Um, and if it's not letting us like reassign it, then I'm just going to simply uh, create another array, and that will that will take away the space complexity portion portion that we did. But whatever, if maybe it's having trouble. This was meant to be a Ruby question, uh, and I made it into JavaScript just because I'm running out. I ran out of uh, level eight questions in JavaScript, um, so maybe that might be the reason. Uh, but let's see. Look, let's see. We're going to invert invert. Um, this array and see if it does the right job. It does. See, it flips it correctly. And so they expected this, they, we gave them that instead. And uh, pretty much they're, they're saying that they gave us this and they wanted this, but we gave them the other one. So let's go ahead and try it. Invert. They're saying that this was the input and we they wanted this now but we gave them just the same output anyways. And no, we do do it correctly. Um, so this question, uh, we did do it correctly. Um, proven right over here. If the input is a negative, then we definitely return the positive. If it's positive, we return the negative, regardless of the length, because that was never a problem. Um, but for the sake of uh, getting these points, let's go ahead and um, create a new array and simply just push in the temp. So over here we will go new array push temp. And here we'll just return a new array. Uh, because we were having trouble, or this guy was having trouble, um, what is it? Re reassigning the values. Expected that instead got that. Uh, let's see. Okay, here. Instead of continue, we'll do new array dot push a zero. There we go. Cool, awesome. So yeah, that's a that's a tricky one because it wasn't our problem. It was very I'm very confident that it was a problem on this system. Um, simply because we even ran it in node and it worked perfectly, and so maybe if you figure out something different, uh, comment it on on the comment below and let me know. I'm definitely open to learning, uh, fixing my problem, fixing my mistakes. If you enjoyed that, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.